So if you're a new player to Dying Light, getting that great gear to start off is more or less impossible unless you know where to look. Earlier today I uploaded a video showcasing 15 inhibitor container locations uh, but a good portion of these locations guys you can more or less run to as soon as you get to the point in where you can free roam the first major area. So you can more or less run to these guys, grab the loot from them which will be rare and above in terms of your armour, your clothing every single time you run to these. And the best part about them is you can keep farming them. They reset every, I think it's 20, 25, 30 minutes and the loot resets. No, you won't be able to get the inhibitors again, but you will be able to grab that loot again. Today I explain all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so like I said, earlier today I uploaded a video showcasing 15 plus locations to those inhibitor containers. These containers not only give you those inhibitors which level up your, your health and your stamina, but they also give you great loot at the same time. In fact, some of the best loot you can get early on. Actually guys, I'll change that. It is the best loot you can get early on. There's no two which ways about it, especially for free. Now I'm quite a few hours in, yet the loot I'm still using, the armor, the clothing I'm still using, has come from these chests. And while there are easily seven or eight simple inhibitor containers anyone can go and grab i mean there's really nothing in your way maybe a couple of zombies and that is about it and yeah like i said earlier the best part about these chests are you can keep going back to them and getting that great loot and this will certainly help you level up your character your player in regards to item levels and like i said although you can't keep farming the inhibitors the other loot that spawns in with the inhibitors does keep rotating and does keep respawning now i should have mentioned this in my video earlier but i did forget and i'm still getting loads of questions regarding loot and great loot and where you can get it real early on now you'll see spots in which you can farm these inhibitor containers in a quick second but yeah like i said guys you can check out the actual locations to these inhibitor containers form your own route and run a circle and keep rinsing and repeating this and actually getting incredible loot to start you off on your story campaign i mean why not so yes if you search youtube how to get great loot early on and you've seen this video i hope it helps you out i'll leave you now to watch uh, the seven or eight inhibitor containers which you can basically go and grab without any issues if you want to check out the full video which i posted earlier 15 plus inhibitor container locations you'll find that linked on my channel and i actually post it in the video description too i hope that one helps you out also but guys thanks as always for stopping by enjoy the rest of the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one
Hmm. <laughs> 